Hello, everyone. My name is David Thuma, and I am the secretary of the 3D Printing Club. So today, I will be showing you how to create a miniature Captain America shield in Onshape. So to begin, what you have to do is create a new document in Onshape. So we could just label this Caps Shield. All right. So once you have the document up, um, first thing we have to do is set the workspace units to millimeters by hitting this little hamburger button up here, hitting workspace units and setting it to millimeter and hitting the check mark. Once you do that, you're good to start creating the shield. So if hit the front view to um, start your sketch. So next you have to hit sketch, click the front plane that you just centered on. That means, you know, sketch one, the front plane should be selected and you can start sketching. So the first thing you want to do is click this little center point circle button here. Click the very beginning, um, the origin uh, point here and, you know, just drag it out as much as you'd like. Next, we have to set the radius of this circle. So you hit the dimension button here, click the circle, and it'll give you dimension. And for the shield, we're going to use 100 millimeters. All right, that's good. You could deselect that. Got your first ring of the shield, the outer, outer ring. So next, you have to, what you have to do is create another circle. So same steps, you hit the little uh, center point circle button, hit the uh, origin, just drag it out a little less than before. Then instead of determining the radius, uh, the diameter of the circle, we're going to relate the first circle to the second one using this dimension button. So we click the outer ring of the first circle, outer ring of the second circle. That'll give us this little um, dimension between the two. And we want to set that to nine millimeters and enter. All right, we're good. So let's do that a few more times to create the more rings. So same steps, click that, click that, click that, and then set the dimension again. This time comparing the second and the third, also setting that to nine. All right, and we want to do that one more time. So deselect this, click, 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 and setting the dimension of these two again by clicking the third and fourth. So also nine. All right, cool. So we got the outer rings ready for the um, Captain America shield. So the next thing that we have to do is create the star in the middle of the shield. So the easiest way that I determine how to do this is this, there's a little button up here that says inscribed polygon. It's like a little like a polygon with a circle inside and a few points on it. It's right here. If you click this arrow, you will see that there's two options, inscribed and circumscribed. For this, in this case, you want to do the circumscribed polygon. So you click that. So you want to relate it to, so, all right. So now we, we want to create a polygon inside of this smallest circle in order to create, in order to create a little outline to build your star. So what you have to do is you've got to click the first, the center point, and you got to click the utmost point here. It kind of like, it goes perpendicular. If you notice, just right there, kind of locks into place. The center point turns yellow. Click that. And then you can determine how many by moving your mouse up and down, determine how many sides that you want. So in this case, to create the star, we want five sides. So once you're at five, click it and you're good to go. So then to make it a little easier for us, I am going to use this, you know, deselect that and then use this construction um, tool on the poly on this polygon on the different um sides of the hexagon that we just created 
in order to have a nice little basis to create the star in. So since we did that, we could just select that and click somewhere over here. Let me try that again. So click, click. All right, so we're good. It's construction, you can tell by the little dashed lines. So next, what we have to do is we gotta create the star inside of the polygon, which is really easy. So you have to click this little line tool and then basically just create a star like you would normally do on paper. So you click the top point, you click this, this point over here. That's one line. You do that again on the other side. Do that here, this one to this one. This one to this one. Just like that. So as you can see, we created a star inside. So that's all set. Now that we did that, everything should be fine. So we could save this sketch. So if all of that's done correctly, you should be having a nice star inside with the with three more rings outside the star. So afterwards, you could just hit the check to save your sketch. And so now we have the sketch of the shield. Now, to put this into um, 3D to create a, a shape, we have to first change the view. So instead of front, we do this angled view here. Then we have to highlight everything by clicking and dragging over everything. Then we're going to hit this little button here, which is extrude. Once you click that, it will start extruding it outwards. So what we want to do in order to keep extruding on the sketch, we want to do it the other way, opposite direction, blind. And I noticed that a six millimeter depth is pretty good for this section. So we hit check and that's all set. There we go. Although you can't see it right now, the sketch is still there. All you have to do is on um, hide it using this little button here. And there we go. So now that we have the basis of the shield, the next thing that we have to do is extrude the parts that we want, uh, extrude the other parts. So extrude some of the rings and then extrude the star. So what we're going to do now is select the two the out, the outermost ring and the innermost ring. So this one and this one. Change the view so we know what we're looking at. Then we're going to extrude it as well. So hit the extrude button. As you can see, there should be two rings popping out, although that's way too much. So to change that, we're changing that to three millimeters. Then hit the check. That's what it should look like right there. That's the front view. That's the side view. See how it has a little bit of a out, you know, outwards appearance to it, which is really good. So the final thing that we have to do, which is really easy, is do the same thing, but for the star. So we have to click the star, different parts. So click all these, click the middle. All of that should be highlighted. Change the view a little bit. So when we extrude, we know how much we're extruding by. Hit the extrude button right here. Now 25 is way too much. So let's do four. Because we want it jutting out just a little bit more than the rings. And for whatever reason, we can't add it to here. So instead of add, like we did last time, we have to do new four. And that allows it to work. It is facing the right way. And we hit the check part. So as you can see here, this is what we get. We can hide the sketch again because we don't need that anymore. Side view. So this is um, the final shield and on shape. You can also, you know, fancy, make it a little bit more fancier if you want by beveling the edges using the bevel right here. The fillet and the bevel, same thing. So you can bevel it if you want, but just, just have on your desk or something, you know, you could just leave it like that. It's perfectly fine. You know, it's up to you. So this is the final product here. This is what it looks like from the side. As you can see, the star is out just a little bit more, which is kind of nice. I liked it that way. You don't have to, 
but you know, it's really personal preference. You know, you can make the star larger if you want. Everything. All right. So now, if you you have this um, perfect shield created in all shape, now if you want to send ex export it in order to three D print it, you have to go to the assembly tab. Hit the assembly tab. Then you have to hit the insert button here. Actually, front do the front view first, then hit the insert button, and then insert part studio one. You click that. So your it's clicked, and then you just try and just click it right here. That should appear. And you hit the check plus. And that should be your part right there and assembly and when you're done you can um right click the assembly hit export you could name it you have to have stl file and units must be millimeter which it already is in mine Everything else you can say, and one important note, you do not want to export unique parts as individual files because you want the two parts to merge into one as you export it. Then you can hit OK when you're done. And then submit it to the 3D printing, and you'll see it in about two weeks. So that's how you create a miniature Captain America shield in all shape. It's really simple. Hope you enjoyed this video. And for a little reference, this right here is what it should almost look like when you 3D print it um, and export it to the 3D printing. Looks really cool. I like it. That's about how thick it should be. So that is the final product. Um, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. All right. See ya.